I swear this barely could close with all of the stuff that's in here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trina and in today's video, I am going to be resetting my stash box as well as showing you all of the empties stationary wise that I have accumulated for the past quarter. So this is quarter three check-in for 2023 and this one is barely closed. I actually reviewed the first two quarters like the videos that I put up for the past two quarters and this happens to be the most the chunkiest um, <laughs> uh, stash pouch that I have. So I did mention this as I'm I'm going to pull these out first. I did mention in like a previous uh, video that I'm going to be rebranding this whole like quarter check-in series as my stash lock. Um, so it's basically the same as the term for like in Pokemon, which we call Nuzlocke, which is like a game mode for like players to be able to uh, have like a certain um, strict rules to follow throughout their gameplay and for my case it is similar to my usual like um, stash busting sort of situation with all of like my pens, my stationery, my stickers and so I'm just going to rebrand it that's basically it. Nothing will truly change except for the name of this whole series. So we're going to like organize this first and I will um walk you through all of these stuff okay with everything set and organized i will start with the easy ones first i have consumed two glue sticks this month which is fairly more compared to the last quarter i did manage to do a lot of collaging and like crafting this month and as you can see here i also consumed a bunch of double-sided tape which to be fair these are like the cheaper tapes so they are like shorter, but these ones are like the bigger ones. So I have uh, consumed two, four, five, six, seven of the double-sided tapes and then two of the glue sticks. I did manage to use up five rolls of washi. These are like the smaller ones that I had and I was doing like this project that you will see in like the next year wherein I have like a 365 sort of journal that I wanted to make as a five-year journal. So I use a bunch of my washi there. That's why I have used up these ones. I did like challenge myself to use up the whole like set of these thin washi, like the neutral ones, but I still have a bit left. So I am going to like carry that over to the next month. We do have a lot of markers and pens here. I did manage to use up like one of these uh, MNG Signy. These have been in my stash for like um, years. Um, my aunt um, bought these set for me, I think senior year in high school or like was it in um, freshman in college. But I use these as like highlighters. I have been reading a lot this quarter and I've used like these brush markers, like the pastel colored ones as my markers. I also um, use up these for like different spreads and letterings. These are the Coriola Super Tips. These are also like from years ago when I was still in college, my dad got these for me as a set. I have a few more left in like my um, pen cases and such. However, um, I'm slowly getting through all of the colors. So five Crayola Super Tips and one MNG Sign Me. I have here, um, I actually have these packagings, but I'm still using these. So I'm not going to count these two just yet. However, I'm going to count this one. So I have like five refills from um, different, um, what do you call these, types of pens. Most of them are like my vintage knockoff pens, like from these ones. Um, but two of these are actually, I, I'm, I don't know anymore, but one of this is like the Energel Klena and one is a Sarasa Dry in 05. I used up both of them, surprisingly, um, this quarter and I, I was using it a lot. So probably like my consumption of it was just too much for like the little pen. Um, I also used up two of my very old Muji. Um, this was also my um, freshman year in college. It is the 07 in like blue black and the 0.38 in black. I don't like 0.38s anymore, so I just decided to just use it up. This is dried up 
there is still like a bit left there but it's all dried up now and I also finished um, another of my my gel pens I'm probably not going to use this anymore because I'm not buying anymore my gel gel pens as you can see at my rate of how much time it took me to use up like an Energel Pilot Energel Klena refill and a Sarasa dry this would only last me for like two weeks so um, this is like more pricey compared to like if I'm going to use it on a regular basis compared to me using like a better pen so I'm thinking in the future I might just use like fountain pens instead at the rate of uh, me using up so much ink I used it basically for journaling for um, writing stuff for like my anime review journals and a lot of other places that I write as well I also finished up one uh, Dong A Hexa Plus. I also use this for highlight and then um, the Miniso um, Plus Pen. This is like a brush pen type or like rather a... No, this is not a brush pen. Uh, fiber tip pen. Use that up as well this month. Um, if you're wondering, I'm just putting them in like containers so that I can um, just organize it as I go with the recycling. Also used up one, two, three, four. Um, what do you call this? The sticky note pads. Um, I use this one for a bunch of like my uh, annotations in my um, reading journal and also like in books. This is also for my reading journal, but sometimes I use it for to-do list. These two are for Shop Karate Prints Cart and Laden. It is our like Shopee um, account, my brother and I's. Um, I use this one for whenever people buy his items. I still have some left over, but I already consumed, like I already written on them and tore them out so that I could easily access it if somebody buys and I just attach it on the packaging. And this is what I use for when people buy um, all of the books that I have listed there, like my textbooks, my old textbooks from college that can still be used. Also like some YA and like um, middle grade adventure novels there. So if you are interested, you can check out Shop Creative Prince Cart and Laden. I have it linked down below in the description. I also do a bunch of like uh, crocheted items there. And so I have like this goal to use up as much of my yarn stash as I can. However, this quarter, I didn't really have um, the motivation to crochet until just recently. So I actually made new colorways of my uh, Genshin Impact inspired colored scrunchies as well as dice pouches, bigger pouches, bad charms. And I'm going to come out with like um, sprout ties and like ties for your cords and cables and such. So I have consumed one, two, three, four... Uh, five, six, seven uh, skeins of yarn in this quarter. I also have here three um, different um, envelopes that I have filled with like sticker flakes. So this is how I store all of the sticker flakes that I have consumed over the past uh, month. So one month is one, uh, what do you call this, one envelope. Um, this was the first one that I have only a little bit. And then for August, I have this one, which is quite a lot. I have been using up a lot of like the samplers and such during this time. And then this is for September, which is also quite a lot. I have been collaging a lot in September and also in preparation for October. I am not going to be counting um, each individual sticker flakes, but I am happy to report because I used to have like, like this is like a segue, but um, it is related, I promise. I am very happy because last night while I was reorganizing my stuff, I actually, um, this used to be this this um, jar, a plastic jar that I'm using to store all of this junk in. Um, this used to be my washi tape roll um, organizer um, storage container. And then I have like a tackle box, like a big blue tackle box full of like sticker flakes. And so this was very full of washi tape that I couldn't even close the lid in. And that tackle box also was full to the brim of like different types of sticker flakes. Last night, while I was organizing my stuff, I actually was able to put in um, the remaining washi tapes that I have in here in that tackle box, which means that I have consumed quite a lot from my stash over the past quarter. And it, I, I don't know, it just made me happy because um, it only means that I'm using up the stuff that I have been hoarding for quite some time now. And so yeah, um, the last one that I have here, I put this at the very last. Um, we have here one sheet of like the plastic um, stickers. 
so um, we'll put that there. But it is this one that I am wanting to separate because for the last quarter, when I look back at my old video, I actually mentioned that for quarter three, this is like my main sort of like um, challenge to go through uh, my alpha stickers, um, the stash that I have. And I wrote it down here that the bigger sheets of stickers um, that I have started, um, that I started quarter three on was like 50 of these, like the big sheets, like they come in two, I just cut it in half. And then for the smaller sheets, um, it is 45. So while I was like um, tallying, I actually tallied all of the sticker sheets that I had left in my stash that I have uh, still stuff on them. Um, these still have stuff on them actually, but I sort of given up on them because they're just lines and numbers and such that I don't use. So we're going to count these, see how much of these uh, alpha sticker sheets that we have used up. So that's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. So that's 15 for the bigger sheets. And the smaller sheets we have here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's not count those. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 here. I don't know where the other um, ones went because... Um, and so I might have accidentally uh, thrown it out and not included in the empties for some reason, or I don't know where they went. But um, my final total, if I counted it properly, was supposed to be 35 of the bigger sheets that are left and 33 of the smaller sheets like these ones that are left. However, um, as I counted it earlier before filming this video, I had only 16 and a half of the bigger sheets left and 24 of the smaller sheets. So I, I'm not sure what happened there. However, even though um, there is like a discrepancy, um, a big discrepancy on how many sheets I have left uh, in my stash, this is still a lot. Um, I honestly did not finish using uh, most of these. I, I just gave up. And some of these number stickers I actually transferred on release paper so that they will be like neatly in one sticker book compared to like having them like bulking up a bunch of like my folders with how many these are. I also finished one of like my deco stickers, one uh, number sticker sheets, and these I gave up on. These are like freebie stickers that I also consumed and used up. And so that is like a good... Um, what was that? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 sheets of um, bigger stickers that I have used up. You know that relief you feel whenever like there is something that is very bulky and like you know that it's junk or trash and then it's all empty out after like the quarter. It's just so, it feels so satisfying that way and I'm very happy that I, even though it is like the 24th today, it's not entirely the end of the month, um, yet I just wanted to clean up today. It is like a very nice afternoon anyway to clean up. So now we're going to proceed to organizing my stash box. I actually have a bunch of stuff um, to the side that I had to go through. But first of all, let's um, check to see what's inside here. This is the, um, what do you call it, the release paper that I was talking about. Um, it, it's, it's not that sticky actually, but I don't really care that much. Um, if it loses its stickiness, then the sticker just has to go. I have a bunch of like my washi tapes here that I have placed in travel size. That's why I consume quite a bit of like washi tape over the past couple of months. I like to keep them this way uh, just so I can see them and also keep them quite organized. Even though sometimes you, if you do this, they will tend to lose their stickiness quite uh, faster. Uh, so it is also like a ticking time bomb for me to use them up. I also have like a um, container here of like some of the washi tapes that I wanted to use for the month of October. Um, it is uh, spooky season, so I have, my, I have my Halloween washi tape out because it is spooky season. It's also my birth month, so I have um, birthday related stuff here. Um, these are like the stuff that I'm not going to be throwing away. I have these um, over from one of like my Cozy and Chaos episodes as well as my September setup. However, this is too much. 
I haven't used it for like a few months now, so I'm going to um, be destashing these diamond cutouts that I made. If ever I'm going to plan on doing that again, I still have a bunch of stuff that I will be able to use for cutouts. Um, this one is a pack of like deco stickers and papers. So my thought process for this is that when I was buying um, stationery for all of like my journaling supplies and such, I have been buying quite a bit of like the sticky notes, the memo pads and such, and like there are like 100 or like 50 pieces of um, all of the papers that are in there. And for the past three years now, I have not used up majority of the sets that I have bought. So I was thinking of why not do like a very cheap um, set of like journaling papers and patterns and notepads and sell them in our Shopee store for like your beginners um, pack see what you like if you like doing like pattern paper if you like doing ephemera if you are more of like a sort of um, vintage girl or like a colorful girl minimalist type of um, journaler um, at least you have like only a little bit of the um, pieces of paper that you might not actually um, find yourself liking. That was the thought process of this like idea for a product. However, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to push through that. We have a bunch of like cardboards here. So I'm going to slowly um, pull out all of the stuff that I know that I won't be using and going to declutter them. return the stuff that I am going to carry over to the next even though um, I am supposed to like throw these away if I don't use it at the end of the month I'm going to do like a ticking time bomb on these uh, some of these are like uh, seasonal items like um, Christmas themed and such and it's of course the Christmas season next so I'm going to be using those up if not then they're going bye bye these are going bye bye I'm going to be chucking these to the recycling and now we proceed to the main event of this video which is filling up this whole box yet again i am actually standing up right now because uh on my chair is a bunch of stuff that i am planning to put into this box and a bit of like the thought process here i have a bunch of stuff here that are actually i have been saving because they are like seasonal stuff so let me take these out first careful not to make a mess um so I will start putting in some of the stuff that I know that I was planning on putting in here. Like some of the stickers and like pieces of scrap paper that I have lying around. I have a duplicate of this one. I just chuck that away and then I find a duplicate of it. Old bookmarks, scrap pieces of paper. Because some of these, like for example this one, I have been holding on to this um, cut out of a magazine because I was saving it up for like... Halloween and fall season for example a lot of like the oranges and the yellows big letter cutouts and I'm also slowly trying to like See if there are anything here that I will just chuck directly also have like one of my old drawings or doodles For like Halloween season. I was supposed to use this for Vince's birthday, but I forgot um, Anyway, I do have like collages here for like Luke Vin and Artem that I still have. I need to like pull this out so I could use them. Um, I have already used Marius because I'm a Marius main, so I have used that up. Bunch of brochures and flyers. I'm going to use that. I'm not going to use this. A bunch of like coupons. From, I think this is from my brother's trip to Taiwan or China. He brought me a bunch of brochures. Usually these are the types of items that I ask my family for whenever they like go on trips. Usually brochures are just free. So um, I ask for brochures whenever they travel. A bunch of paper that has nothing in them. Sticker paper. Like these, these are like from like was this from Starbucks? Where was this from again? Like, this is from Starbucks. 2019, like, organizer planner situation. I have a bunch of, like, these cutouts, wanting to use them for Christmas and such. Haven't used them because I tend to forget. I also have 
this packaging from like the Nendoroid. I also have these. These are like failed um, frames of like, what is, uh, of Instax that my friend had and I asked for like her failed frames. I wanted to like um, paint on them but I don't have acrylic so <laughs> never mind. I also have this. This is quite pretty. It's so big. I'm gonna put it there. Leftovers from like different crafts that I had. Christmas stuff. I'm gonna chuck this. What is this? And try to use those. I'm trying to use these as well. These are from old calendars. I don't know if I, they're still sticky or not. A bunch of these glassine bags. I'm going to try to use them for like different spreads. Also like magazine clippings. We'll see if I'm going to use this. If not, then off to the recycling. I also pulled out, which is like rare, like more in steps. And these are um, a bunch of stickers that I have just lying around. I'm going to organize that later. I actually pulled out these. Um, these are like gem stickers for like scrapbooking. And I'm supposed to not use like these sorts of stickers uh, in different like spreads and such because they will bulk up the notebook or the journal however if it's just for the cover um, because I'm of course going to make a new cover for like my journal I could start to use those and also these I as you can see from like the archetype where was that my god I should have kept that out like this one the archetype um, packaging I could like potentially make a shaker spread out of these stars and uh, this packaging. So yeah, I'm going to add those there. This is starting to get bulky and I still have like three items on my seat. Um, these are actually star shaped, like it's sort of like a fabric. And my best friend really liked this, but uh, she only needed like half a meter of each of these colors. So what we do with these is that we cut uh, each star and glue them to the page and it doesn't bulk up because it's uh, quite flat. I haven't used these for like two years now so I'm pulling them out, uh, so put them near like my washi tape area and we'll see if I am able to use those up um, for this whole quarter, the remaining quarter of the year. Um, Christmas season, we could always use a bunch of stars and for that whole, like this is an old packaging, this is like an old very grimy um, pouch. I'm going to wash this probably later after I film, um, but I only have like a few brochures left and sticker papers. So we're going to uh, probably call this whole pack done, which is very exciting. I also have this one. This is more of like stickers. Oh, so here is where I... Mm. So this is where all of those remaining stickers are from. These are more of like the number of stickers that have not been used. I don't know, man. I, I, it gets stale quite a bit if you have been using the same sort of sticker for the past three months. I'm going to pull these out because I haven't used them for quite a bit. A lot of plastic in here. Um, what else could I pull out from these? A bunch of them are like sticker sheets that I have not used or touched at all yet. So... We're just going to add a few bits here and there, not really think about it. And yeah, that's all I'm going to take out from that. And this is way too overwhelming after like three months of just using alpha stickers. These are still alphabet and number sticker packs that I have not used yet. So we're going to go through these slowly, um, potentially next year. Um, we'll see. This is still quite a lot. So this is another monster that we're going to tackle um, later on in the future. Yeah, you can finally sit down. So this is like the last few items that I have. I'm actually cleaning as I go. That's why I kind of feel exhausted now. Uh, in here, in this like mint chocolate drops, a few of these like scrapbooking. Uh, these are also like number labels that I have from old scrapbooking. I even kept like um, the outer borders thinking that I'm going to be using these for framings and such and I did manage to use them for frames however it gets annoying real quickly to try to glue in like the very um, thin piece of paper to your page without making too much of a mess so I'm going to chuck these because I'm very annoyed with them but I'm going to try to use some of the labels that are in here like these ones I'm not going to think about all of the numbers and letters that are in here 
<laughs> but rather just focus more on like the labels and the designs here. So I'm going to add that again. Um, these are not your traditional Christmas colors, but it's also worth to pull out every now and then. I also have like, this is a wedding catalog and I have seen like these ones. Like these are very much perfect for like the fall season spreads and such for like my commonplace journal. So I've been meaning to pull these out and like simply just rip out the page. Um, this is the sad thing about like picking and choosing like which spread you're going to, um, like which photo you're going to be using for your spread because these are all pretty. But also at the back, they are all pretty. So which um, side are you going to use when you cut out? So I'm going to be using those and I'm going to browse a bit. Um, I'm going to take you along with me and so you could see like all of the different bouquets and such that I'm going to use and also will probably rip up some of the pages that I won't be using. Feel free to pause the video if you happen to see something that is interesting for like motifs for your own wedding if you're like looking into that. Um, if you find inspiration from the magazine that I just flipped through. Um, this one is actually a magazine of full. And I'm going to look through. I basically use this magazine specifically for like um, when I am covering um, like the covers of different notebooks that are like flimsy because of the colors, like they're just beautiful colors. They're just beautiful colors. And so, I don't think, they're more like the green tones, the blue and the purple. There are a lot of like sunbursts, but I want to keep those for like when I like pack stuff or like make it like deco and such so i'm not going to overwhelm myself i i think this um few pages are enough a bunch of like the oranges and like the purples and the yellows of course my favorite color so yeah that is like for all of the magazines that i'm going to be using for this quarter And so this is everything that I have prepared for quarter four of my stash down, stash lock uh, situation here. I will give a better like overall review at the end of the year. All of the stuff that I have used up, like my totals, how it feels to be uh, using up all of these stuff. So far, I am already feeling um, a weight has lifted off my shoulder because I have been cleaning a lot of like my items and such and I also have been using up all of the stuff that I've been hoarding for quite some time now and I'm enjoying it. I'm very happy um, that I get to like use some stuff and not feel that um, and not feel that uh, I am missing out on something and I get to be more mindful of the stuff that I do and work on and get to know myself and what I actually like using. So yeah, I do have like a bunch of stickers here that I didn't explain anything, but I've been uh, using these ones for like my spreads for my birthday month um, plan with me and such. So I'm still keeping them here just so I could like grab onto them. And I also keep this beside my bed if I ever am journaling. So yeah, I, I won't be explaining more about that. We have our box, not too full, but also I don't want to overwhelm myself. Um, it's always better to add to it later rather than to be overwhelmed um, by biking off more than you could chew. Still have a lot of these pages of like the florals and such from magazines. And so yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys, and for going through all of this process with me. It's been quite exhausting, like hour and a half of me just organizing these stuff, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I have a lot um, that I am going to be chucking to the recycling and happy that it is out of the house. So yeah, thank you so much again.
And I hope to see you in the next video. So until then, guys, take care and bye.